Students of various faculties at Nigeria University are preparing for the 23rd graduation ceremony slated for October 14, 2022. Established in 1992, Nigeria University was the first private university in Uganda and will be holding its 23rd graduation this year at main campus in Uweiro. According to Mary Natongo, the Assistant Administrative Secretary, Faculty of Engineering, several students have been cleared under this faculty. We have over 800 students who are going to graduate, and a big number belongs to civil, because we have over 400 students coming from the civil department. Mechanical, we have like 35, electrical, 90 students, land surveying, 50 students, and the chemical engineering, seven, seven students, while diploma section, we have 60 students. Of a percentage of 20% being female, okay, and mm. the rest male students. In preparation for their graduation, students speak about their endurance to attend this academic award. I've done my internships, one in Kansanga, another one in Tororo, along the Tororo Busia Road. Internship being the requirement for a student to graduate, we have to do two internships and I'm doing my second internship. And of course, I can't say I'm ready to graduate, yet I'm still doing internship, though I have to graduate this October. We find difficulties to meet our supervisors because for me, I have been doing my research. You could find the time to ask when to meet the supervisor. He could just say that you can, you come. He could just direct you where to find him. Instead, when you ask him, oh, let me meet you at the campus, he would just say no. In addition, Missing marks and graduation fees are issues of concern to the graduates. I'm still working on my marks. I haven't got all of my marks yet. The graduation is about, and and yet I have to graduate. Some students under this faculty missed last year's graduation due to several challenges. The COVID affected much our students because some well, there are those who performed well, but we have some who never performed well. So the year scores we are too low, this affects their CGPA. Despite several challenges faced by students, Issa Muhammad, a master's degree graduate, appreciates the university. I want to first thank to Indian University Administration and Management to give me this and a good opportunity to, to tell the, 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 the feedback and uh, what I'm feeling. I really am very happy and I'm very ready to to. To, to graduate uh, this coming month, uh, October 14. I'm very happy, serious. I can't wait, really. I did my master's uh, here in Dejan University, master's of agriculture and uh, sustainable agriculture and rural development. I'm a Muslim. Uh, I come from Somalia. Uh, most of the people, uh, normally, they, they believe uh, Indian University is a Christian university. Indian University is not a Christian university, it's an open university where every student can uh, join and can do whatever faculty he wants or she wants. My advice is by the way, I'm a governor of Bosi graduate, uh, I have that title. I want to tell all the students who is about to graduate uh, in the university this coming month, October 14, let's prepare our academic papers, let's prepare everything with with the administration they want, and let's focus our target. Administration of Indian University, I really appreciate the way they are working, the honesty, the timekeeping, and uh, whatever. I don't have any problem for them. Besides engineering, students from other faculties will also be graduating. For Ndeja University TV, Edwin Sempagala, Frank Senabulia, Sara Chilabo, and Elia Mwesekezi. If a man is, if a man is an Indian,